Tonight, we are in Albany, Louisiana, the place where I broke Brandon's face. And it's been nine months since then, and Brandon thinks he's going to come back and take away everything I've accomplished while he's gone. Brandon, you think you can come back? You need to sit on the sideline and stay away just like our brother JTM. And you need to ask yourself, is this really what you want? Do you really want to get there with me again? Because it's going to be way worse than last time. I'm not just going to break your face this time, Brandon. I'm going to end you once and for all. You need to ask yourself, do I really want my, my, my newborn son watching me have to eat my food through a straw for the rest of my life? You need to ask yourself, Brandon, because tonight I'm going to f*** you up. Wrestling 225 family, welcome back to Unleashed. I'm Spencer alongside Landon, and we're here for part two of Albany High School here for 225 Mania. Man, things are getting unleashed here tonight. Disobey explodes in our main event. I can't wait, Spencer. You're absolutely right. Don't forget, next week, our main event is going to be the epic title for title, Christian Blake versus Vladimir Koloff match. But like you said tonight, Disobey explodes in the main event. But kicking things off tonight, incredible Lucha Rules intergender tag team action as Level X goes up against the Ginger Avengers. Interesting to see how these, uh, these two are going to work together. Uh, but nonetheless, it's going to be an incredible night of action right here on Unleashed. Hey, Wes. So, yep. I know we have Level X tonight, Green Girl Ellie, the Salt Lake Sky Orion, against us, Ninja Avengers. Where are you going with that? What is that? It's our shirt. Ninja Avengers, that's us. Our shirt? Yeah, we're the Ginger Avengers. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. So, I never agreed to that thing. All right. Well, I got one anyway. Are you freaking kidding me? Let me explain something to you real quick. Ever since Iron Sharpens Iron, and ever since Super Gold, I've been more pissed off than I've ever been. You understand me? I thought before all that, I was starting to get my anger under control. And then I came up short in the Iron Man match. Vladimir Koloff screwed me out of the SEC title again. And then I came up short the Super Gold Rumble. And now we got Level X to deal with. Orion and Dream Girl Ellie. And then you, without asking me, made this, this stupid name and this stupid shirt. Why? I just wanted to do something nice for you. Put it on, it'll make you feel better. Look. You want me to put this on? Yes, look, look. The past is in the past. Let's look towards the future, which is you and I crushing Level X tonight. No, I'm gonna crush Level X. And when I crush Level X, I might put your stupid shirt on, all right?
for me. The Ginger Avengers, you've got to be kidding me. Get this, are you kidding me? Stella Rin is all in on this Ginger Avengers. I just can't believe it. I absolutely love it. It's going to be very interesting to see Stella Rin teaming with Wes Warren. I mean, you couldn't put two more different people in a team together, but under Lucha rules as well against an incredible team. This is going to be fun. Oh. I don't think Wes liked that very much. It's written on the card. It was, it was written on the card. Yeah, Wes Warren laying into Spencer here. I'm, I'm hoping I have a, a, a commentary partner here in a minute. Stella Wren has really started something here with this Ginger Avengers. Wes Warren clearly not taking too kindly to it. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been too long. Level X is back in Pro Wrestling 225. The Sultan of the Sky, Orion, and Dream Girl Ellie, your inaugural 225 Women's Champion. They are here at 225 Mania. This is going to be one hell of a contest. And under Lucha rules, man, Spencer, I couldn't think of a better team to compete under Lucha rules than Dream Girl Ellie and Orion. It doesn't get much more exciting than those two, right? And I think what is so interesting to me, not only this Lucha rules aspect of things, but I, I'm sure you touched on it, Wes Warren and Stella Wren, how well are they gonna work together, especially in a match under these conditions? Yeah, look, I, I don't, I don't think anybody had Wes Warren and Stella Wren as a tag team on their bingo card for 2024, but I am all in on this team. I am team Ginger Avenger. Don't say that too loud. Wes Warren will kill you. Yeah, it, 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 you, you doing okay? It looks like you really can't face them. Uh, listen, all I did was announce them the way I was told, right? They're the Ginger Avengers. Apparently, Wes Warren has a problem with that. Stella Rain gonna do her best to change that tune, but nonetheless, looks like we're kicking things off. Wes Warren and Orion in this intergender Lucha Rules Tag Team Contest. Maybe the first of its kind in Pro Wrestling 225. I surely can't think of one. And how exciting is it for us to have both Orion and Dream Girl Ellie back in 225? Obviously, Dream Girl Ellie first ever women's champion in 225, right? And Orion, we know how good he is. So really exciting. And how will Wes Warren and Stella Wren match up? You know, Stella Wren made a terrific debut in Pro Wrestling 225 at Honor and Pride, picking up a win in her debut. But Wes Warren sort of on the opposite end of that. He is the in that almost moment, right? First pinfall in the SEC Championship Fatal 4-Way. Most eliminations in the Super Gold Rumble just at our last event and also almost got the job done against Vladimir Koloff to win the SEC Championship. So can Wes Warren keep his emotions in check to try to pick up a win alongside Stella Rin tonight? And listen, I think that's the key. You hit the nail right on the head. He is an emotional man. 
He's got all the talent, all the skills that you need to succeed. But he's got to keep a level head, and we've seen that time and time again with the cold-blooded one. And look at this incredible exchange to kick off this tag team contest. Interestingly, Stella Wren trying to hype up her tag team partner, and Wes Warren doesn't seem interested. Seems almost bothered by being cheered on. Orion catches the leg here. Oh! oh. Face first goes Warren. Yeah, Wes Warren's not going to take too kindly to that. Uh oh, here we go. Eye on the prize. Ooh, Look at this. Bit of a face offense. buster there. European uppercut as well. Listen, don't blink. Oh, Ryan. Drop kick off the middle rope. Smooth as butter offense, just like we have come to expect from the Sultan of the Sky. So good to have Level X back in Pro Wrestling 225. You touched on it, Spencer, the history with these two. We've seen Dream Girl Ellie time and time again. And Orion always puts on an incredible performance. But listen, these two, this is the first time I can think of that we've seen these two actually as a team here in Pro Wrestling 225. Yeah, no, I mean, we've seen them uh, before. Uh, it was, look at, I mean, look at this tag team action, right? Intergender lucha rules. Dream Girl Ellie has no problem at all tying it up with Wes Warren. But you see how these lucha rules work, right? Wes Warren gets out of the ring, Celerin gets in, no problem. Yep. But Dream Girl Ellie, game and ready, couple arm drags. Man, how much would this win mean for Stella Wren to pin the inaugural oh. Pro Wrestling 225 Women's Champion? Well, it would be huge, you know, as someone that I'm sure would like to be going. Oh, oh. are you kidding me? Wes Warren grabs a handful, a handful of, of Ellie's hair, and you saw he just he just dropped a, a bushel of her hair from his hand. Like that's disgusting. Is a bushel an official measurement there, Landon? I went to university. Stella Wren not happy with oh. her partner's methods, but still going to try to take advantage now. Ellie in the corner, double knees, and Stella Wren. Looking like she's going to go for a cover here. Hooks both legs. Listen, I, I can't say that I necessarily agree with the offensive choice by Wes Warren, but it's hard to argue it was effective. Things have completely swung in the favor of the Ginger Avengers. <laughs> yeah, he's only apron right in front of us. I think that was smart to whisper it. Stella Wren staying on offense, though, as Dream Girl Ellie was attempting to get back to a vertical base. Big hip check there from Stella Wren. <laughs> the Pro Wrestling 225 family Ooh. here, firmly behind Level X. Wes Warren taking exception. And Stella Wren, look here, hooking both legs. Man, Stella Wren is keeping the heat on Dream Girl Ellie early on in this contest. Picture perfect suplex. And Cover again. again. Man, you mentioned earlier, Dream Girl Ellie was, was absolutely game to take on Wes Warren here. And look at this, here's the tag. Wes Warren uh -oh. appears like he's ready to return the favor. I think Dream Girl Ellie needs to get out of there. This is a dangerous, dangerous situation, but oh! oh. Warren knocking Orion off the apron. Not no. Pikachu. What did Pikachu do? Oh, come on. This is just completely uncalled for. Orion looking on as Wes Warren just yes. torquing the. Oh! oh! <laughs> Albany loved that one, Landon. Not Wes's little Ginger Avengers. <laughs> now Wes Warren in a desperate, desperate situation, and in comes Orion. Only gonna get more desperate here as the pace quickens yet again with Orion getting in the ring. Oh! Kick to the midsection. Lightning quick offense from the Sultan of the Sky. Whips Warren across, Warren able to reverse up and over onto the apron, blocked there by Orion. We know how good he is in the sky. Wait. Did you see how smooth that was? Just makes it look easy. 
Wes Warren trying to fight his way out of the corner. We've seen that aggression from Wes Warren take hold, but no, he's, what is this? Oh, how about that suplex? That gets launched. Sent him all halfway across the ring. Only a two count. Man, man, level X versus the Gingers of Injuries. We knew this was gonna be fun, it's not disappointing. Lucha rules. Pushes him off here. Ooh, oh, hard, stirred him first into that turnbuckle. Orion's gonna fly. Here we go. Big elbow drop. You see the elevation on that. But don't look now. Looks like Stella Wren has made her way to the middle rope. And big drop kick on Orion. Orion dazed from this drop kick from Stella Wren, and there's the fall from Grace. In comes Dream Girl Ellie. Under these Lucha rules, I believe that means that these two women are the legal competitors. That's absolutely right. Look at these knees straight to the oh, face. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, and a kick. Got to stay on your toes. You never know where that hook kick's going to come from. Oh, oh my oh. God. Watch it. Here comes the second one. Oh. We talk about how quick Orion is. Here goes Ellie, maybe faster. And, and another. Stella Wren may be out. Oh, no. Green girl Ellie needs to be careful here. She's got Stella Wren locked in her sights, but no, doesn't see Wes Warren. Turns things around. Orion's got him. Oh, oh, oh the cutter. springboard cutter to the cold-blooded Wes Warren. Is it Dream Girl Ellie's moment? Oh, there it is. What a drop kick from Ellie. Can she take advantage? Now Orion and Wes Warren in, but oh, oh exploder suplex. No, not to Ellie. Cold-blooded <laughs> driver. Good Lord. I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say it. Better get out of here. Better get out of here. Wes Warren. Wes Warren just grabbed a microphone, two microphones. Well, he doesn't want you to say it. What? What is this? Stella Wren, really excited about, about earning her, her victory here tonight. I mean, the, the Ginger Avengers have a winning record. record. They're 1-0 here in Pro Wrestling 225. It looks like there's still a little work to be done to convince Wes Warren that this is a, a team, but impressive nonetheless over Level X. Wes Warren. Not someone I would describe as a team player. Hitting the cold-blooded driver on Dream Girl Ellie to pick up the win. Unbelievable. A win nonetheless for the, well, don't say it. versus you, Simon Phillips. And I've heard what you said. I've heard that you said it's not gonna be any competition. 
Well, let me just make myself very clear. What I'm about to go out there and do to you, they shouldn't even let kids watch. It's going to be brutal. I'm going to take it to you. I'm going to pin you in the center of that ring. One, two, three. man is absolutely disgusting. Just the epitome of do whatever it takes to win, even if it means turning your back on your brothers, even if it means breaking the orbital bone of your best friend. Simon Phillips made it to the heavyweight championship. Look, I get it. He's making waves. He's extremely talented. Tonight, Brandon Collins is back. And tonight, finally, Brandon Collins gets his hands on this man. Brandon Collins with that statement win back at Honor and Pride, the night that he was supposed to face Simon Phillips. Now, the wait is over. There's nowhere to run for Mr. Defiant, Simon Phillips. So I think to say that Simon Phillips is looking past Brandon Collins is an understatement. He's had Brandon Collins in the rear view mirror for the better part of a year, Spencer. And he even went so far as to say that this wouldn't even be a, an equal match. Right, the words he used was it wouldn't be competitive. Well, this is fairly competitive, kicking things off here, Brandon Collins with these right hands. It was in this building. As we see Brandon Collins go all the way around with the head scissors, knocking Simon Phillips off his feet. And he needs a breather, but I don't know that Brandon Collins is going to let him have it. Keep your eye on Collins. He's gearing up, up to the top of one of four. Using the steps to his advantage. How do you like that? No kidding. Not competitive, though, right? Brandon Collins has been overlooked his entire life. Big cross body. Get the win right here. Oh, a kick out at two. But Collins comes out absolutely on fire. It was in this building that Simon Phillips broke his orbital bone before turning on JTM and the rest of his disobey brethren. He tried to pull the tights already. Well, we know that it is not beneath Simon Phillips to cheat to try to win. Oh. Back breaker. You saw Brandon Collins was trying to go for that around the world head scissors one more time. This time, Simon Phillips uses his power to his advantage. And, and listen, we, we talk about physical transformations, maybe none more impressive than Simon Phillips over the last 12 months. I mean, definitely able to exercise that power advantage in this contest against Brandon Collins. You're absolutely right, Landon, and I think it's only attributed to the fact that Simon Phillips, who, by the way, did he just spit on Brandon Collins? I think he may have just done it. 
Oh, oh. God, came in out the chest. But all leading to Simon Phillips thinking that he is oh. too good and better than Disobey and Brandon Collins. Good Lord, Brandon Collins is not pulling punches here, holding nothing back. Did you see that stiff right hand create that separation? Look at this, going up again. Satellite DDT, no, gets caught. Uh-oh, oh. look at this strength from Phillips though. Oh my God. Who's holding him up there? Oh. Incredibly impressive. And we know the history between these two, taking it all the way back to the dangerous grove. These two men grew up together and they promised each other they would make it this far in the business together, side by side. And we saw how successful they were. Disobey, one of the most successful teams in the history of pro wrestling. Two right, two time tag team champions here at 225. But somewhere along the way, Simon Phillips started to believe in order to make it even further, he needed to drop the dead weight of Disobey. And honestly, you look at what he's done since then. Oh my God, full speed, absolutely crushing That's Collins. Count to a hunt, no, gets the shoulder up. Simon Phillips just as surprised as the rest of us. And that's the stuff you can't teach. That is the heart of a warrior. Brandon Collins is fighting for his life in there. He's fighting for his brother in JTM, who we haven't seen since, Brandon, since Simon Phillips absolutely destroyed him and broke his heart here at Albany High School last time that we were here. He might break the back of Brandon Collins tonight here at 225 Mania. Collins is in big trouble. It is locked in deep. But Lord Phillips, Jesus. that's, I mean, look at this. Putting it right back in. Just when Collins was trying to break out, Phillips locked it back in and a nasty cross face forearm. Uh, in that spot, that same spot where Collins broke his orbital bone. Right there in the center of the ring. Collins. Up and over. Yes. Hold on. Motion. Okay. Got the shoulders down. Oh, and a kick out. Looked to surprise Simon with that one, but these two know each other so well. I mean, Simon Phillips knows just about what Brandon Collins is going to do before Brandon Collins knows. That's the downside, right? Of matchups like these, when your family breaks apart, nobody knows you better. Nobody knows you better. And so Phillips has had an answer for everything Collins has tried so far. Well, listen, make no mistake about it. We talked about how successful Disobey was as a team. You have to attribute so many of those victories to Brandon Collins and his ability to catch opponents by surprise in the middle of that ring. Is he gonna be able to catch Simon by surprise here tonight? He's got an uphill battle, that's for sure. As Phillips choking the life out of him in the corner all the way to his count of four there. And now look at this, dragging the eyes of Collins across the top rope. And that's actually the exact side. That was the exact side where his orbital bone was surgically repaired. And now that Collins isn't wearing a mask, things like that are effective. Oh! Collins taking the fight to Simon Phillips. This is exactly what he's gonna need to do. Keep the pressure on, keep this pace. Here we go, fast big drop kick. Catching the chest and the chin of Simon Phillips. And a kick out there. And now Collins, maybe for the first time this match, has the upper hand and has the leverage advantage. That's right, and you notice what he's doing right here, covering the nose and the mouth of Simon Phillips. If he can wear Simon Phillips down, we know that Brandon Collins has that incredible, incredible cardio. Cardio's not gonna do you much good taking forearms like that. I mean, just uncalled for. I mean, really. Is anybody more full of themselves than Simon Phillips? That'd be an interesting focus group, right? Put Simon Phillips in a room with like Michael White or something. Right. Cover, Collins, no, kick out. Collins kicks out at two. Oh, oh but no. Oh, that arm bar is gross. You see the angle that Brandon Collins' arm is stretched out right now. 
This might be it, Landon. Collins is in a bad way. Right there in the center of the ring. But wait, look at this. Able to shift Phillips' weight onto himself. And a, <laughs> a kick out there. Phillips forced to break the hole. Incredible oh, work, God. but a bicycle kick takes Collins out. Brandon Collins just can't stay on top for long enough. He can't get in the offense that he needs. Look at this. More strength being shown. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. How did that happen? Collins turns it around into like a stunner. And nearly gets the pinfall. What did we just see? That was incredible. Brandon Collins might just have a moment here, might just have a chance. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Brandon Collins with the risen five star. How many times have we seen Brandon Collins go to the top and win matches? Oh, knock to the apron. Dangerous there, Collins. Almost falls off. Oh no. Phillips looking like he wants What's to bring Collins in no the way. hard way. No way. But Collins able to fight out of it. Nice Good European Lord. uppercut there. Rattled the jaw of Simon Phillips there with that uppercut. And Simon in a very precarious position here. Watch out. Oh, oh. unbelievable. Just tosses Simon back in the ring. Makes it to the cover. Shoulders were down two and three quarters on that one. Man, that was close. What is Collins going to have to do? Looks like he's thinking. We'll go back over. Here's a Muda lock. And he's looks like he's getting it. Look at the torque. Is Phillips going to tap out? Could you imagine if Brandon Collins made Simon Phillips tap out? I think he was raking his eyes there, Landon. Just absolutely couldn't hang on. I mean, he may Simon as well have a target on his face where that orbital bone was broken. That's exactly right. Going right back to that eye. Surgically repaired. Oh, Your this is un uncalled for. And, and, you know, it makes me question how healed up is Brandon Collins from that surgery? I mean, you know the heart of Brandon Collins. He wanted to get back as fast as he could to get back on Simon Phillips, but taking these forearms right to the face is probably the worst thing that could happen for Brandon Collins right now. Backs Collins up into the corner, whips him across. Collins able to get out of the way there. He's the escape right when he needed it. What's he got in mind? Look at this. How about that? Face plants, Simon Phillips. Brandon Collins almost has the upper hand in this matchup, but with Simon Phillips spilled over to the outside, no way to capitalize. I think Simon Phillips has gotten way more out of Brandon Collins than he ever imagined. But keep your eyes on Brandon Collins. No stranger to these dives. This dangerous situation here. Cross Ooh. body over and up to the outside. Both men down. Brandon Collins risking it all here. Brandon oh. Collins is ready to do whatever it takes to get his vindication. He's not just fighting for himself. He's fighting for his brothers. He's fighting for the memory of disobey. Simon Phillips first in the ring. Collins able to get in the ring as well before the count of 10. Uh-oh. Got him up. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, took his head off. Oh, and a kick out. He's still in it. Brandon Collins is still in this thing. You have got to believe that Phillips thought that was it. I think Albany thought that was it, but Brandon Collins kicks out. You can hear the Hornets nest coming alive here at Albany High School. Phillips, you want a no-show against Brandon Collins? You want to say it's not going to be competitive? He's giving you all you can handle. And look at this, a little bit of a dermis destroyer here to the back of Brandon Collins. Just unnecessary. But, 
Oh, I think both men were thinking the same thing. Crossbody takes them both down. Simon Phillips trying to get under the skin of Brandon Collins. But if we've seen anything from this matchup so far, Brandon Collins is staying in it. Simon Phillips has been someone that has been on Brandon Collins' mind all through his recovery. As he was sitting there in the hospital, he was dreaming of this moment. He will stop at nothing to get a win here tonight. Speaking of, where did he go? Yeah, Brandon Collins disappears under the ring here. Collins here. under the ring. Here on the other side here. Oh no my God. Way. The silent one is back. And here, Simon Phillips who went to go get a chair. He has no idea. Brandon Collins has got the mask on. That's the man that you broke the orbital mode. That's your brother, Simon. There he is. Him. DDT. Cover. Wait. No. He's climbing to the top. Could we see it? Brandon Collins going for. That's right. The Risen Five Star nails it. One. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't believe it. Disobey will not die. These two back and forth we go, Spencer. Brandon Collins reaches down and finds an old version of himself and realizes he doesn't need it. All he needs to be is Brandon Collins. Here we go. Wait, reverse by Phillips. No. Oh, big knee. Oh, oh my God. Boot to face. And Simon Phillips puts away Brandon Collins. You have to give it up to Brandon Collins. Hung in there every step of the way. But it may be defiant Simon Phillips might just be on another level. Now, come on, what is this? This is not necessary. Simon, you've proven your point. You won the match. There is no reason. Don't do the same thing that you did last time you were here. You're exactly right. This is exactly what he did to JTM. We haven't seen him since then. Brandon Collins just gets back. Get out, get out of the ring, Brandon. Oh, oh God. the chair on the spine of Brandon Collins. And no, you can't no. do this. No, you're gonna end his career. That's your family. Simon, what are you doing? Why? You won the damn match. What? JTM! The ghosts of his past have come to haunt him in Albany. The brother that he destroyed in this building less than a year ago is back. And 
of course, Simon Phillips gonna run away. Simon Phillips has no problem praying when a man is down, already fallen victim. He doesn't want a fair fight. Listen to this place here in Albany, cheering for the return of JTM. What a moment. And what does this mean for the future of Simon Phillips? Is Simon Phillips going to accept JTM's challenge? Simon Phillips destroyed his family. And it looks like it is about time he's going to pay the price. as JTM and Brandon Collins embrace. They never said they were ready for Disobey to end. They never said it was over. They wanted to be the best tag team in the history of 225. And now it looks like things might be back on their turn. As JTM saves Brandon Collins from potentially a career-ending injury here at 225 Mania. What an incredible night it has been at Pro Wrestling 225, 225 Mania. We will see you here next week for title, for title, Christian Blake defense against Vladimir Koloff for the heavyweight title, but also the SEC championship for Koloff on the line. Will it be destiny? Will it be game over? Find out next week on Unleashed. It's almost here. Let me pose a question for you real quick, champ. Out of all the matches, the opponents, the rivalries, the battles, the wars, the moments that you have created, not just in Pro Wrestling 225, but over the years in your homeland, let me ask you this. Did you ever see someone like me coming? <laughs> Let me answer that for you. Because the fact of the matter is nobody saw this coming. No one except for me. I've known that this day would come for a very, very long time. Saturday, April 13th, 225 Mania. They're calling it the biggest match in Pro Wrestling 225 history. I simply call it my date with destiny. Because this was destined to be. We were destined to be. Now, I'm not running up a hill. I'm knocking you off a mountain. Because this match isn't about preparing to survive the test of time for 60 minutes. This match isn't about outlasting other superstars in a rumble. This match is about fulfilling my destiny. And I will fulfill my destiny. I will become the Pro Wrestling 225 Heavyweight Champion. And by proxy, become the undisputed champion of Pro Wrestling 225. Now I know, I have zero doubt that you're going to bring everything that you have. 
You will give me your very best. You will dig deep. You will try to make me question myself. But I will not stop. I will keep moving. I will get up every single time. You will not stop me! You will not stop my destiny from being fulfilled. Jordan Jaw has given up. Bretty and Landry is too busy being a family man these days. <laughs> Champ, after April 13th, I suggest you do the same. Go home. Be a family man. Give up. You've done everything you need to do. And your hard work will not be unnoticed. But there are two words to describe this very moment. There are two words that describe what is about to happen to you. And it's not more Koloff. <laughs> Game over. <laughs>